mixed race relation. Oh, Jesus Christ. I love when people think I'm an expert on this just because, you know. It's literally if I fell off a bed. Hey, Bill, you just you fell off a bed. Oh, I need some advice on falling off a bed. I don't know how the hell I ended up in this relationship. I just met her and I liked her. I asked her out and uh, I couldn't get rid of her. I didn't want to get rid of her. Every time I ever thought about breaking up with her when I was be like all in a panic of, holy fuck, I've been in with her for three months. Oh, my God, the pressure, the pressure, all this pressure I was building up on myself. I would always picture her walking out of my apartment. And even in the fantasy of getting out of the relationship, I would always run out to go back and get her. And then it took me about a good, oh, seven, eight years to realize, Bill, that means because you love her and you don't want her to leave. Um, all right. Hey, Bill, you fucking alabaster bastard. Alabaster bastard. You alabaster. Why did you do that? Hey, Bill, you fucking alabaster. Uh, I'm also a white guy who has just started going out with a smoking hot black chick. I have no idea what she sees in me, but who gives a fuck, right? She makes me happy, and I seem to be hap- make her happy too, so it's all good. Until you go outside. Uh, so on to my question. As someone who's in a successful, quote, mixed race, I don't know why it's in quotes, mixed race relation, I wonder if you have any insights or gotchas that might help my relationship last. Make, make my relationship last. And do you still experience any casual racism from the mouth-breathing morons? Um, I'll spell check this message and be careful to use correct punctuation, too. So hopefully if you do read it, you won't sound like a preschool toddler auditioning for Sesame Street. Thanks for the podcast. I listen to them every week and go fuck yourself. I love how the punctuation is my fault still. It's still my fault. I'm the victim. Um... Do I have any insights? Uh, Yeah, this is my insight, is that uh, you two people are different than me and my wife because you're an individual, all right? So, you know, it's not like, well, when, when, like, (laughs) it's like when you watch the Discovery Channel. Well, when dealing with the hippopotamus, there's an aggressive behavior when it's fucking partly cloudy. Um. Uh, my advice is if you're with somebody and they make you happy, stay with them. If they don't, break up with them. That's it. All right? And if you're in that situation right now and you want to break up with somebody, don't use the holidays as an excuse. All right? Just get out now. Just get out now. I'll actually tell you it's better to do it right before the holidays than after. Okay? Because as much as you're going to fuck up their Thanksgiving, Christmas, Hanukkah, or Kwanzaa... Uh, the new year comes, and with the new year, they'll be like, you know, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm just going to get forget about it. It was the worst year ever, you know? If you fucking wait till after the holidays, and then, boom, their year starts. You just fucked up their whole next year because people think in calendar years for whatever reason. All right, so getting back to you. Um, I mean, what do you want me to say? Let's start listening to, to fucking Jay-Z. Um, I will tell you this. When it comes to that shit, uh, there is a still stay in your own lane kind of thing. Um, just because you're with her, don't start saying, uh, don't start using the expression woke. Uh, <laughs> this still, you know, I guess I can't give you advice. There are things like that. There are things like that. That no matter how much she loves you, you will immediately turn into an annoying white person. Um, And yes, racism doesn't magically go away because the two of you are now together. But I will be honest with you. It's just like if it wasn't racism, it would be something else. Um, You know, I kept talking about Chicago and Milwaukee and they kept booing Chicago. They didn't like Chicago. So it's like people, people don't like their next door neighbors. They don't like the people they work with. You know, football teams don't like coaches and GMs that won them Super Bowls. So if it, if it wasn't that, it will be something else. And who gives a shit what other people think? You only go around once, and you should be with the person you're supposed to be with. That's what I think. All right? So have fun. Enjoy yourselves. And uh, that's it. 